boys and girls, it's Storyteller Tammany and I'm excited. We have another Amelia Bedelia story. Like I said, we've only got two more, so let's get into it. Amelia Bedelia, Cub Reporter. Now, Amelia Bedelia is so silly. What is she going to do as a reporter? She's going to make all kinds of silly and misunderstandings and mistakes. Amelia Bedelia had just served breakfast. Where's the paper? asked Mr. Rogers. Paper, said Amelia Bedelia. What kind of paper would you like? Note paper? Wallpaper? Toilet paper? Oh, goodness. He means the newspaper. The newspaper, said Mr. Rogers. I cannot start my day without it. The paper is late, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll go and see if it has been delivered. When Amelia Bedelia opened the front door, a voice hollered, Duck! Amelia Bedelia did not see any ducks. The only thing she saw was a newspaper coming right at her. Sometimes we say duck when we want people to move. Amelia Bedelia ducked in the nick of time. Bam! went the paper on the window. Crash! clink! went the broken glass. A boy rode his bike up the front walk. I'm so sorry, he said. I'm Peter, your paper boy. A paper boy? said Amelia Bedelia. You look mighty solid to me. What's the commotion? asked Mr. Rogers. Are you all right? asked Mrs. Rogers. I'm fine, said Amelia Bedelia. Our paper boy broke the window by mistake. Bum, bum, bum. Don't worry, son, said Mrs. Rogers. We'll fix it. It's only a small pain. That's right, said Amelia Bedea. A larger window is a big pain to fix. I'll buy a new window, said Mr. Rogers. Let Mrs. Rogers do that. Um, let Mrs. Mrs. Rogers do that, said Amelia Bedelia. She loves to go window shopping. <laughs> not the same thing. Peter took a camera out of his bag. Thanks for not getting mad, he said. May I take a picture for your paper? We're doing stories on our best customers. Hmm. Everyone gathered for the picture. Cheese, said Peter. Amelia Bedelia didn't see any cheese. She figured Peter was joking, so she smiled like Mr. and Mrs. Rogers. Peter got back on his bike and said, I have to deliver the rest of these papers on my way to school, but now I'm late. Let me help you, said Amelia Bedelia. Mrs. Rogers waved and called out, take the rest of the day off. Oh, that was very kind of Mrs. Rogers. They made a good team. Peter carried the papers. Amelia Bedelia tossed the papers. She hit every porch and missed every window. That is a good thing. Peter got to school right on time. The principal, Mr. Owens, was outside to greet the students. Peter introduced Amelia Bedelia to him. She knows newspapers, said Peter. She could work on the school scoop. Then this is our lucky day, said Mr. Owens. Our school paper is due out tomorrow, but the parent who helps is ill. Um, would you work with us, asked Peter. Sounds like fun, said Amelia Bedelia. That's the spirit, said Mr. Owens. Come and meet your cub reporters. Cubs, said Amelia Bedelia. I thought the reporters would be kids. They are, said Mr. Owens. They're called cub reporters when they're young and new on the job. She was thinking bear cubs. Boys and girls, I want to apologize because my son is having his last day of online learning and he's so excited. He's making a lot of noise, so I just want to apologize in advance. When they arrived at the school paper, Mr. Owens hollered, Stop the presses! A girl looked up and smiled and said, We don't use any printing presses anymore. We do everything on the computer. I knew that, said Mr. Owens. In an old movie I once saw, the editor yelled, Stop the presses, whenever he found a mistake. I've always wanted to say that. The principal introduced Amelia Bedelia. Meet your new editor, he said. Please send her your stories and photos. She will write the headlines to put everything together in the paper. Sounds simple, said Amelia Bedelia. Then we print copies for Peter to deliver. No, said, oh, no, said Peter, there's no, no paper boy. The school scoop is delivered by computer. Ah, so this time they don't need to throw things around. 
Peter is right, said Mr. Owens. Our newspaper is available online. Got it, said Amelia Bedelia. I put things online every day. She doesn't understand that online means in the internet. When well, she's thinking on the clothesline... Excellent, said the principal. Everyone gets a copy instantly, even my boss, the superintendent. All right. As he was leaving, Mr. Owens gave them some advice. To be a good reporter, he said, keep this in mind. If a dog bites a man, that is not news. But if a man bites a dog, that is news. No one had a clue what he meant. They all nodded anyway to be polite. Story assignments. Story. Library news. Laura and Ron, school play, Chris and Mark, chess club, Matt and Julia, gardening class, field trip to zoo, and nurse health tips. There was so much going on in the school, Amelia Bedelia assigned the last story just as the bell rang for classes to begin. As the kids filed into the hallway, Amelia Bedelia gave them some advice, too. You cubs be careful, do not get bitten, and do not bite any dogs. <laughs> Silly Amelia Bedelia. Amelia Bedelia set right to work. Just when she got used to the school computer, the stories began to come in. She wrote a headline for each story. The library was quieter than usual. The squeaking rocking chair, squeaky rocking chair used for story time had not had been sent out to be repaired. Librarian off her rocker. During rehearsal of the school play, some scenery fell over onto the actors. School play a big hit. Mm -hmm. At the chess tournament, both players moved their knights early in the game. Knights battle in gym. Ba, ba, ba. While he was being interviewed, the gardening teacher tripped over a bucket. Gardener kicks the bucket. Two new bear cubs were spotted during the zoo field trip. Cub reporters report on cubs. <laughs> the school nurse offered every student the chance to visit her new office. Every kid will get a shot. During a fire safety lesson, the chief said he forgot to use sunscreen on his recent vacation. Fire chief burned. It's important to use sunscreen. The eggs incubating in the fourth grade classrooms finally hatched. Fourth grade full of cute chicks. Amelia Bedelia took a break to report on a story herself. On her way back to the office, she ran into Mr. Owens. I did a story on the cafeteria, said Amelia Bedelia. Great, said Mr. Owens. Did you get a hot scoop? I got two scoops, but they were both cold. That's too bad, said the principal. Will you still make the deadline? No problem, said Amelia Bedelia. My story is the last one. Amelia Bedelia had taste tested a different type of hot dog in the cafeteria. She was sure Mrs. Mr. Owens would love her story. After all, it was his idea of news. Woman bites dog. She hit send and the school scoop was on its way to everyone. The next morning, Amelia Bedelia returned to tidy up. Mr. Owens burst into the room. Stop the presses, he yelled. Stop the computers. Stop everything. What happened? asked Amelia Bedelia. Is there a big story we need to cover? You bet there is, said the principal. You can report on me getting fired. My boss is coming here to talk to me about the newspaper you put out. Uh-oh. What's wrong? asked Amelia Bedelia. I published it before the deadline. Look at your headlines, Mr. Owens, said Mr. Owens. They're so sensational. Thank you, said Amelia Bedelia. Don't thank me, Mr. Owens said. That kind of sensational is not good. Now our school sounds like a big city. Before Amelia Bedelia could apologize, the superintendent burst into the room. Mr. Owens, there you are, she said. My phone has been ringing nonstop. Parents are calling about your newspaper. They want to know who's responsible. I can explain, Mr. Owen said. Explain what, said the superintendent. Everyone loves the latest issue. Parents, teachers, students. They do, said Mr. Owens. I mean, of course they do. 
Uh, I, I mean, of course they do. I, I knew that. Sometimes it's easy to get the voices mixed up. It's a hit, the superintendent said. Your school sounds exciting and fun. And those headlines, they are, are sensational, suggested Amelia Bedelia. Exactly, said the superintendent. I roared when I read Woman Bites Dog. That's my favorite too, said Mr. Owens. Meet Amelia Bedelia. She wrote that. Glad you liked it, said Amelia Bedelia. I wrote it the way I saw it. That's all. Keep up the good work, said the superintendent to Mr. Owens. Maybe one day you'll have my job. Really? said Mr. Owens. When that happens, said Amelia Bedelia, I've got the perfect headline. Principal becomes super superintendent. After the superintendent left, Mr. Owens turned to Amelia Bedelia. I cannot thank you enough, he said. You're sensational, in a good way. I knew that, said Amelia Bedelia. A week later, Mr. and Mrs. Rogers had just sat down to breakfast when the doorbell rang. Please see who it is, said Mr. Ro Mrs. Rogers, and see if my paper is here, said Mr. Rogers. Amelia Bedelia returned with Peter. Special delivery, said Peter. He handed Mr. Rogers his paper. Thank you, said Mr. Rogers. My windows thank you, too. My pleasure, said Peter. I wanted to show you your story. That's right, he wrote a story about them. Peter held up the front page and said, I got to write the article, too. Congratulations, said Amelia Bedelia. You're not a cub anymore. The news, a breaking story. Because the window is broken. Ha ha ha. Oh, what a clever idea, said Mrs. Rogers. A paper boy who broke into reporting by, by breaking a window, added Mr. Rogers. I love your headline, said Amelia Bedelia. I couldn't have done better myself. Oh, my goodness. So silly. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boys and girls, if you love that story, we've got one more Amelia Bedelia story left. And if you're interested, make sure you subscribe and get the notification so you know every time there's a new story. I look forward to this so much. Bye-bye.